the preposterously premium power plenum package that you see presented in today's episode of The Quiet Rifle was procured from Vladan Panovic, the Power Up Pope himself. So I will link his channel, his email, his Facebook groups, all of that jazz in the description and uh, send him a message if you see something you like and get what you need. So today is the day that we tune up our new uh, Power Plenum upgrade kit. Um, I'm not going to go super deep into the uh, the hows, what's and who's it's of tuning. Um, I've made a few pretty long in-depth videos uh, which I'll link up in the description. Uh, so if you want a really in-depth tutorial type deal for uh, how to tune, um, go down there and click on them. They'll be much longer and much more in-depth. But uh, for this video, basically what I'm going to do as far as tuning goes is um, start pick my reg pressure and um, run the hammer spring through its range of motion and um, record the kind of speeds that I get and then fine tune from there. And once I've found a nice sweet spot, I'm going to bang away for a little bit and slowly turn the, uh, the valve adjuster in and as soon as, the, uh, as soon as the extreme spread comes right down and it starts to lose a little bit of speed, I'm going to leave it there. And then after that, we'll go and test it uh, down on the range and see uh, whether or not it's accurate at the speed that I end up with. I'm aiming for somewhere between 900 and 930. Um, and yeah, uh, should be good. I'm hoping that it's a little bit quieter as well because uh, from what I understand, the valve... Well, the, the reg will be opened and shut um, quite a bit quicker with this much capacity. So hopefully it's a, a really, really short, sharp blast of air that, um, yeah, keeps it fairly quiet. So we'll see how we go. But before we do all of that, I'm going to... It's still pretty much the same tune. I did fiddle with it a little bit from where it was previously, um, just before I figured out that I had to... Um, fix my C3 O-ring. So um, I just, just out of sheer curiosity, I'm gonna um, shoot it on that tune just to see how much the actual plenum changes the um, the speed of the, the round coming out. I'd imagine it's probably probably around a thousand feet per second on what it's on now, so, but I don't know. Curiosity. So the specs of my previous tune, um, I'm running about 15 to 16 millimeters of hammer spring gap on max um, somewhere between 140 and 145 bar reg pressure and um, that's netting me with a 700 mil barrel um, about 930 feet per second with a very small extreme spread with the JSB King Heavy Mark II's 33.94 grains um, so let's see what those exact specs do with uh, 80 odd cc's of plenum. <laughs> So that's, that, that'd probably actually be not a bad spot to leave it if you really were going for a, um, a hardcore power tune. Um, one of the fun things about the, uh, the longer pellet of the King Heavy Mark II, just, just with the length of it, they can cop a hell of a lot more speed than a, um, a standard Diablo pellet, like a shorter, fatter sort of, this, just the way that they're shaped allows them to um, run much higher speeds and stay stable. So it wouldn't surprise me if that was really accurate but um, it's got a hell of a kick to it. It kicks like a mule for an air gun, that is, obviously. Um, nothing compared to my center fires. But, um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got a real... Like, the kick on it kind of feels like a, uh, like a black powder muzzle loader. It's got that real talky, slow, sort of linear thump to it. So, it's, that's fun. That's great. But um, in order to get some slower speeds out of it, um, because I, I need it to be quiet as well. Um, it's got quite a bit of a thump to it. It's a deeper tone. It's not, not a crack 
like uh, like it used to be. It's like a it's like a deeper, thumpier tone. Um, but I am going to drop the reg pressure and drop the hammer spring um, because I want to be able to shoot nice and quiet. I want to get uh, my lowest setting needs to be um, between 700 and 800 feet per second to get a nice usable sound level for my property size. So that's what we're going to aim for. And then um, I reckon we'll probably stack it on to, I, th I think with this hammer spring, and this plenum setup, I'm going to have to go about 100 bar and um, try and get 900 feet per second out of that uh, 100 bar reg pressure. And um, that way I'll have hopefully from 900 to about 750 on the actual hammer spring wheel. So that'll have me a, a fairly nice stout fast tune. 900 is fast enough. It's not 970, which would be pretty cool. But um, yeah, the, the lower power, um, lower speeds and quieter speeds are sort of very important to me. So um, I'm going to have to knock some of that top end off. But yeah, fun. That was surprisingly consistent for um, just pulling it straight out of the thing too. It sort of jumped around a little bit and then um, settled out around that 970 feet per second. So yeah, if you are looking at getting a, um, a 48, 43, can't remember how many cc's my plenum is. Probably should write that down, <laughs> but um, yeah, if you are looking to get some big power out of it, it um, yeah, it goes pretty good at uh, 145 bar and 15 mil of hammer spring, so keep that in mind. One thing that will save you a lot of heartache when you're tuning an FX gun is understanding the gauges. Um, the gauges are a guesstimation, even if they're brand new, new and improved. I love FX, but I don't love your gauges. So when you are tuning, um, my advice to you would be um, try and keep between 25 and 50 bar more than you need in the tank. So 25 to 50 bar more than whatever the reg pressure that you're tuning for is, um, just so that you don't get too close to falling off the reg um, and you account for that um, adjustment requirement within the, uh, the sort of question mark area of the gauge. Um, it'll stop you from chasing around weird numbers if you uh, if your gauge is cactus and you don't know. So yeah, fill early, fill often. So I just degassed the gun, um, wound out the regulator screw just until it carefully touched and then wound it back in a little bit. Um, so it just wasn't bottomed out when I gassed it up again. And um, as I uh, went, did the old winder out to uh, up the pressure, the um, I missed my mark by a little bit. So we're at 110 bar. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to do what I need to do at 110 bar. So I'm just going to leave it there and tune it there. Um, you may be wondering um, how how should you choose your reg pressure? And the best thing to do is sort of just listen to what other people have done. Um, always take it with a grain of salt because every gun is a little bit different. But um, from what I've heard, uh, anywhere between 100 and 120 bar is heaps with a plenum this big. So. We're gonna uh, we're gonna start with that and go from there. Man, I'm dying in there. So um, I had some annoying little issues. My crony decided it wanted to run out of batteries and flickered and flickered and gave me like figures of 12,000 feet per second. So I had to change the batteries in that. Then my magazine stopped working, side shot, looking at you. For whatever reason, it's sort of come out of adjustment and maybe I'm, maybe I'm turning the, the, the little locking ring the wrong way or something like that and uh, tightening it up too much because it doesn't want to click um, over to the next round it's just sort of sitting there so I've, I've fiddled with it I've cleaned it lubed it up and then um, put the spring back together and put as many turns as I can while still being getting a full turn on it and it's, it's working all right now but problems annoying problems but 
after all that, um, I did a couple of shot strings at 100 and between 100 and 110 bar on the gauge, and um, it wasn't great. The, um, there was only a spread between the maximum and the minimum setting on the hammer wheel of um, probably somewhere between 50 and 100 feet per second at the most, um, which isn't really ideal for what I wanted to do. So I turned the regulator up a little bit um, and without even really having to adjust the hammer spring much at all, it uh, pretty much settled right where I wanted it to. So um, at, at about 120 bar reg pressure um, with a fairly sizable hammer spring gap, I think it's at about 18 millimeters, um, it is giving me bang on 900 feet per second um, on my maximum setting and on my minimum setting it's giving me 750-ish. So nice and quiet on the low end and um, pretty punchy at the top end. So I could easily get quite a lot more power out of it if I wanted to, but um, I need that nice quiet low end. So the, the only other options really for that sort of thing are to um, crank it right up and get a shorter hammer spring. But for the sake of 30 feet per second on the top end that I'm probably not really gonna notice, um, it's much better for me to have that uh, nice, quiet, usable bottom end. And um, as far as numbers go, I will uh, put them up on the screen. But uh, uh, ooh, um, average of 905 feet per second on max. Um, just did a quick little shot string because I'm dying of heat exhaustion in there. Um, 904, 906, 906, 907, 902. So that's an extreme spread of five feet per second and a standard deviation of like two. So it's pretty good. That's uh, nice and consistent. So happy with that. Could fiddle with it a little bit more and maybe make it get it down to like, I don't know, three or four feet per second, but you know, why bother? And um, the next one is my low power setting. Um, and this is a little bit less consistent because it's not really precision tuned, if you will. Um, it's just sort of a, a lower spring tension setting. So um, we got a uh, extreme spread of 17, a standard deviation of about seven, and um, the average muzzle velocity was 758.2 feet per second, which is nice and quiet. So happy days. Tuned. Definitely made some uh, rookie errors. I've, um, it hadn't rained for a long time, and then uh, I was like, it'll be fine. I'll just leave my targets out. No need to worry. And it kind of rained for a week. So my steel's probably a bit rusty. <laughs> anyway, we're here down on the range. So what I'm gonna do is zero at 25 meters, and uh, then shoot a group out at 50 meters and um, we'll call that the accuracy test for the high power side of our uh, shooting and then once I'm done with that crank it all the way back down to um, minimum power <laughs> and um, zero that for uh, the close range fun quiet type stuff that I normally do. Here we are, quick zero at 25 meters. Started off a little bit high, uh, wound it down three mils, and then um, measured it from that first shot right there. 
and then uh, obviously wound it the wrong way because I always wind it the wrong way and then uh, moved it to the right and bang 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 three of them fingernail size group good enough good enough time to move on to 50 meters Looks pretty good. <laughs> that's fun, get the heart rate up a bit. Crunch down a nice little group. So that's 50 meters. And that is a uh, fingernail size group at 50 meters. Ugh, I'm puffed out, I'm too fat. Get a load of that. So that was my zero point. Um, basically I was aiming with the crosshairs centered complete in the middle there at 25 and it sort of arced up and just landed ever so slightly lower down there at 50 so they're flying good got to be happy with that that's uh that's a very small group five rounds into a fingernail at 50 meters with an air gun what a wonderful time to be alive so i reckon i'll call that good for accuracy testing harmonically tuned pretty good um now I want to, just out of curiosity's sake, I want to shoot some 50 meter groups on minimum power where it's nice and quiet. Because um, that was a bit loud. It's a little bit loud and echoey. It's not loud, loud. I feel like it might even be ever so slightly quieter than um, how it was previously with, um, with the regular plenum on it. But it's still pretty loud. So we're going to rock on with uh, some 750 feet per second uh, quietness and see how that groups at 50 meters. There is a breeze coming from Oh yonder probably feels it's like a little sort of 4k an hour push not too much but uh, at 50 meters and going that slow um, probably gonna get blown around a little bit so get my excuses flowing nice and early <laughs> so that I, so that my next group when it's two inches yeah yeah to say that is a giant pain in the ass. Stupid bloody magazine just will not play the game. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. Every second round I'm just getting a, a big old blank puff of air coming out and it's not loading properly so I don't know. Might have to uh, do a bit more research into that. And on top of that my group doesn't look very good either. <laughs> Turns out anger is not good for accuracy. So here we are. These two were uh, um, pretty much the correct uh, point of impact and I had my bubble level off for these two I noticed it after I'd shot it because I was fidgeting around and not paying close attention so yes bit of a uh, rookie move little bit better there we go that's a bit better that's uh, probably two fingernails up so good enough good enough at 50 meters and 750 feet per second that's not too bad it's definitely not the uh, not as accurate as it is at 900 but what can you do I think I figured out why my magazine isn't working properly I think the magazines fine it's just the pellet probe is um, loose in its little housing so my bad, sorry side shot, but still very annoying. <laughs> Seems like I've, I've brought every other tool down other than the exact um, Allen key that I need to tighten that up. So 
Yay me. Guess I'll just go home and knock off for the day. <laughs> to wrap things up in a neat little bow, um, I'm now getting 900 feet per second out of 120 bar of reg pressure with the uh, King Heavy Mark II 25s. So that's heaps more shots per fill. Um, that's great. Very happy with that. Um, and now I have the ability also to shoot really heavy slugs in whatever caliber I want because um, I shudder to think how fast um, a, a heavy 25 caliber slug will go with uh, 150 bar reg pressure and 80 cc's of uh, plenum behind it. That would be uh, quite a quite a thumper. So I'll have to do the uh, old man's impact, tune up the 30 cal, and see how that goes with the uh, with a big plenum on it. That'll be nice as well. Um, I think the heavier calibers like 25, 30, and 35 are really of a huge benefit for this. Not only can you get better speed, but you can actually get a usable amount of shots. Don't have to carry three tanks with you or wander around in the bush carrying extra air. So, very happy. Very happy with my, uh, my little weekend of tinkering. It's been good. Um, and also, remember that the only thing that I've actually put on mine was the external plenum. I didn't put the other um, half-mooned pellet probe on, I didn't put the ported barrel on, I didn't put the hammer weight on, I didn't put anything on except for the plenum. So all those other little bits add up to a few extra feet per second here and there as well. So yeah, there's even more to be had. So if you want to uh, power up your FX Impact, um, get on to Vladan. He'll, uh, he'll send you out a nice big kit. So good, good. Bye bye.